Finally, Stinger version 2 is now open source. That means that all the code, CAD and schematics are for you to see and use. We've also partnered up with IFB to make hardware kits since most of the hardware we used is custom. Means that you can go buy a hardware kit, 3D print your own parts and build your own Stinger. For that, there will also be an assembly manual and an assembly guide by video, as well as a Discord server for any questions. You'll find all of the links down in the description. But if you're like, what the fuck is a Stinger? Well, here's a TLDR if you haven't seen my video. It's the world's most advanced nerf type dart blaster. <laughs> Why, you may ask? Well, it uses four drone motors to propel these. Worker HE darts, they're actually not nerf darts. They look kind of like half of a Nerf dart. Other than that, it features a display and a joystick to give you five different shooting modes that are all individually customizable. You want to shoot fast, soft, full auto, burst mode, everything is possible. Oh, did I also mention it's the thinnest blaster of this kind and it has stock modules. I'm probably missing half of the features right now, so you'll have to just build your own to find out. But I should mention, that this build is not easy. It is going to take quite a lot of time to carefully assemble and solder everything up since it's a pretty advanced build, but I think that you'll learn something along the way. What is a project if it's not at least a little bit challenging? I should also definitely give a shout out to Bastian. He's been a major help in this project, developing the code and the PCB for the Stinger. Stinger uses some of the most advanced consumer technology available right now, like PCB design, really accurate 3D printing, BLDC motors and fast control algorithms on microcontrollers. It's a perfect blend of hardware and software in an embedded application. But yeah, that's it. Peace out. Ah! Are you, are you okay? Did I hear you?